Hello and welcome to A Spot of Positivity. It is the long-awaited fabulous Food Friday and today I'm going to be making a wonderful Brazilian carrot cake. So my name is Rosalie. If you like this channel, please press like and subscribe. I'd love to have you part of my little online hope-filled community. Now, this is something I tried at my friend Ariana's house and it was really cool, completely different from traditional uh, carrot cake to me, my traditional carrot cake. It is traditional to some people. So what I want you to do is uh, take three big carrots. I've actually used two enormous carrots um, and I have um, peeled and ch chunked them in a blender of some sort. So I'm just using a hand blender today and um, a big blender might work a bit better. That's what it is today. And one cup of oil, vegetable oil, just one of these kind of mild oils like a sunflower or canola or something like that. Um, and I want you to put in some of the carrots. Now my recipe is blowing away, but that's going to be okay. Don't you love these little hand recipes? All looking really pretty there. Um, hand recipes, whatever. Real physical recipes, not online, although you can find something similar online. I'm just putting some of the carrots in because that's a bit much. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend this up. I'm going to pause the video for a second because it's going to make a lot of noise. Okay, so I did um, take all those carrots, carrot chunks and blend them with my hand blender. It turns into quite a sludgy thing. Um, for this kind of blender, you have to actually put them in smaller pieces than the ones I had. Um, if you have a big blender, um, they should be okay in quite big chunks. But um, the next thing I need to do is add the eggs one at a time and blend each egg one at a time. So, I'll just do that and um, we can pause the video again for a minute. Okay, the final egg goes in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so all the eggs are in here. Don't be tempted to put them in all at once because I've been assured it doesn't turn out the same. Um, in my big bowl here, I have two cups of all-purpose or plain flour. I have two cups of granulated sugar. I've got one teaspoon of baking powder, and I've put half a teaspoon salt. It doesn't call for the salt, it's optional. I like a little bit of salt. So, all I'm gonna do, make a little well in here, and I'm gonna pour in, woohoo, a lovely carrot, Puree happiness. This is completely different because um, I'm used to putting cinnamon, for sure cinnamon, in my carrot cake. This one doesn't have that. It's like the carrots themselves are left to shine. I meanwhile heated my oven to um, 170 degrees, which is 340. And stirring this around, and I've got. You can use a wood pan. What I have today is an angel food. You could use. I've used a round spring form nine inch before, and this is going to have to go in the oven. In a minute. Here is my pan. I don't get to use this one very often. So it's kind of nice. Beauty, 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 beauty. And always have spatulas on hand. All the better if it's a silicone red spatula. There we go. And all the orange glory is going to go in the oven soon. going in the oven, middle of the oven. No, for uh, approximately 30 to 35 minutes. 
one. Okay, cake is in the oven, and meanwhile, you might want to make your sauce. Now, actually, you don't need to make it right now, but I'm gonna do it right now because of you, my friends. Um, you would, the cake's gonna have to cool and all that anyhow, but um, I'm gonna get a can of sweetened condensed milk, and I'm um, just seeing how many, yes, this one is 397 grams or 304 mils. Open it up happily. Oh dear. I think we had a little sweet condensed milk accident here and didn't open up properly, so I'm gonna have to get the thing out. Never mind. We get in a second. We have Cadbury's drink and chocolate or another brand is fine. Three tablespoons of that in a pot. I'm using generous tablespoons here because I like chocolate. <laughs> now um, let's go for a little more traditional method here. Isn't that the most annoying thing in the world when you're kind of pull thing, um, does something silly? Anyway, we're going to just open this up. And the brute strength of Rosalie. Put this in here. Yummy, yummy, yummy goodness. Now, this is going to be the topping on the cake. I'm going to mix it together and I'm going to cook it for gently for 15 minutes. And that's going to be the topping that you pour on the cake when it is cooled. Okay, so the cake is ready. I'm going to grab my handy dandy oven mitt. I'll take the full of the cake out of the oven. Take a look at that in all its glory. And uh, I mean, like you might do for a um, angel food cake, I think I'm going to turn it upside down and let it cool that way. There we go. I'll let it cool for a while and then. The sauce is going to go on top of it. And here we have it, the cake, the finished Brazilian carrot cake. Now, I have a confession to make, and I wouldn't have this confession if I hadn't made a mistake and I hadn't run out of time. But my, um, my topping has burnt, and I am too picky to use it. It's Tastes like burnt marshmallow, which isn't bad taste. Um, but I'm gonna make some fresh topping. That just gets poured on. It doesn't need to wait till it's cool completely. It's fine. It's different than an icing, and it's gonna just soak in beautifully to this cake. I'm sorry I can't show it to you, but that is a lovely cake, and the carrot sings. It's nothing else, no vanilla, no other flavoring, no spices, and the carrot has a lovely, mm, sweet taste. And this is a thing that once you've tried it you will make it again and again. So I will eventually post the recipe so you can see it, but um, I hope you will try it at home with your family and enjoy it. And thanks for watching me on A Spot of Positivity.